All right, guys, and welcome back to Banishers: Ghosts of New Eden. Now, I've got, I have I have run out of time to record today. Not run out of time completely, clearly, because I'm recording right now. But I will probably only do this mission. Home lies where the heart lies. We're in the dark woods, and our task is simply to investigate the house. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the series. As always, please don't forget to give a like on the video. It's incredibly important to me. We're Who closed. Are you? Red McGrath, ma'am, at your service. Ah, he who killed the beast. Well done. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. As long as that's your name, I'm down with that. What is the what's the word around here? This prompt comes up every time, and I'm I'm sick of seeing it, so I'm going to ask, Jane, what's the word? Tell me, how are things going in camp? Who cares how things are going? We should listen to Kate and leave. We should all leave. Is this your store? Yes, it is. Now that Squire Paris has walked on. Ah. I take it he hasn't just gone for a stroll. Can I ask what happened? He died. I was out hunting and when I came back his spirit had gone. It was wrong to leave him to die alone. His ghost now haunts you. But you know that, right? Leave his spirit alone, Banisher. It's no small thing to be haunted. It's no small thing to be dead. The Squire has always protected me. That's more than I can say for most people. Now I'll do the same for him. Dear Jane, too kind. Paris, I presume. You presume correct. Squire Sincere Paris. Oh, what's left of him? I'm a banisher, you know. I could help you, both of you. That's what I do. I don't know. This is new to me. Jane stands by me, though I'm dead. Oh, remarkable woman. You've only ever stood by me. Now, banisher, we have work to do. As I'm sure do you. Elsewhere. Okay, I don't feel anything sinister here. But there must be more to this. It just simply tells me to leave the shop, but I can't leave... Oh, okay, I can leave. I can't get into that lockbox. Maybe later. Leave the shop. All right, I will do as I'm told. Are you there? A word, if I may. I love this. Right, Sincere Paris. What a wonderful name. We must talk. I think he means you. Wonderful. Go on, then. One goes to another. Your rigging says you are, or were, a banisher, correct? Correct. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McGrath. What can we do for you? As I'm sure you're aware, someone, somewhere, has made a mistake. Several mistakes, in fact. Oh, I... Yes, I'm not supposed to be dead, and even if I were, I shouldn't be here talking to you. I seem to be haunting Jane. I'd like to employ you to do whatever it is you do and send me on my way. Wait a minute, so he wants me to uh, send him? I'm certainly, I don't feel like I need to banish him yet. What has happened? How did you die, sir? How did you die? My heart gave up on me. I felt a terrible pain in my chest. My head spun, the world tilted, then it all slowly faded away to nothing. My heart gave up and who could blame it? Poor me, I died alone, but I died with dignity. At least there's that. Had someone been there, they likely couldn't have helped. True. Still, some company would have been nice. Strange thing, you know, if you go, would you want somebody to be there with you? I don't know, it's a very strange... Let's not talk about it. So, are you in love with Jane? Are you in love with her? Oh, you must be joking. Love undeclared is a common reason for a ghost to linger. I am not a man of undeclared emotion, Mr. McRaith. All right. Then let's get to the nitty-gritty. What is it you are still lingering for in the living world? Do you have any unfinished business that could be keeping you here? 
Business was my trade. Trade was my business. But I'm not here because of unsold stock. I must be here for Jane. She is, was, my bodyguard. The contract was informal, but we obeyed it to the letter. For my part, for years I helped to track a group of mercenaries known as the Hummingbirds. Go on. I'd rather not. Jane's proudly pinnacle, and her story is her own. She'd tell it to you before she tells your man. She doesn't much trust white men. I'm shocked. Keep talking. Before we left New Eden Town, Jane had a secret. She was working on a map. I suspect she was up to something dangerous. Unfinished business. I'd like to see that map. If you look behind me, you'll find her quarters. Be discreet. I've betrayed her trust enough. Interesting. All right, Jane, we're gonna have to have a rummage around your quarters. Not your hindquarters, hopefully. Right, what do we have here? Paris is hiding something. Check the register in the safe. A key? Okay. Jane doesn't trust her boss. Hmm. We should poke through the squire's books. Yeah, we will. Just a second. Letters. Paris. Okay, this is from someone called Teddy Shepard. Paris, I hear there is game to be had in the Indian summer grove near Thickskin's camp. I hear further that your Indian huntress is making good use of it. I wish to do the same. My map shows an old hunting tower that would well suit my purpose. Oblige me. With passage that your native girl may leave me be, and I shall be grateful. Hmm, what's going on here? Game, so he wants to, he wants to go out hunting. Shepherd, if I catch sight or smell of you trespassing on my hunting grounds, I shall go to war from Jane. So Jane intercepted the letter and replied in kind. Well, She's very defensive about that particular patch of forest. Hmm. Like you with the blanket when the night is cold. All right, all right, all right. There was no need for that jibe right there. Jane's private journal. Those not ill reacted fast, but we knew the sound of war, but we were too few. My father's face was red and scabbed, and he could not rise to face them. The hummingbirds flapped their wings and burned the tents with our elders inside. My father was among them. Most were too sick to fight. Some ran, I fought. In the end, I was forced to yield. I counted the blades of grass as they put the chains upon me. I stink, still, of ash and gunpowder. I stink so long the stink is mine. It's a rather unusual final look upon things. She's, she's owning the smell. How life after such horror? Okay, we had a hint obtained. Um, with help, with help. Yes, probably. With help. The Squire Paris seems willing. I wonder about the epidemic. Was it a local disease or something else? So everybody got ill. Uh, right, let's go to haunting cases here. I want to catch up on this. The traveling merchants. We got a hint. Decimated by sickness, Jane's tribe was wiped out in an attack by mercenaries. So, obviously, she's Native American. <clears throat> uh, who do I talk to next? Oh, hang on a minute. She's left the building. Oh, she's not looking. Quick, let's get inside. Shh. We can rummage around her. There is an end of that sentence. I'm not saying we should rummage around her. Rummage around her private bits. No, not private bits. Private parts. No, not... Oh, God. A letter diagnosis from Dr. Irriton, Paris, my dear friend. After our numerous and assiduous, assiduous sorry, examinations, I cannot conceal the unfortunate truth. Your health fades inexorably. I fear your days of bold, mercantile expedition are over. You must work less and work lighter. Knowing your tenacity, I must insist for your own good. Adjourn all voyages, and if you must travel, preserve yourself. Do not travel far without resting, and never travel alone. 
If you follow my advice, your chest pain and short breath may find remission. If you do not, you risk a quick aggravation, especially if vexed by life's annoyances. Time to put your feet up, my dear friend. You've earned it. So stress can be the biggest killer. Well, at least he had a uh, a knowledgeable physician. Now, what are we supposed to do here? Open sincere safe, which is four meters. Oh, it's here. I got you. I got you. I found you. We're not opening that without a key. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. And Taylor, would you mind taking over the searching duties? No keys here. That that was Red's voice. Um. Ooh. Oh, look at you. I don't know what we just shot at, but it was definitely shootable. I heard a key drop. Yes. There we go. A finely forged silver key. I wouldn't have kept a key here. You yeah, probably would. All right, we're in. There. The squire's archives. Squire Paris's register. Acquired 24 bushels corn from the Penacook. Penacook, I guess, is the, the local native tribe. Tw sold 12 bushels. Acquired 120 blankets. Sold 210 blankets to the Penacook. That's kind Paris of boring. Paris had traded with the Penacook. Jane's people. Okay. Uh, uh, he thought he could profit from her. He knew she had nowhere to go. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he thought he'd make a profit on her. He's the type. Don't be so cynical. That's my job. That's true. Antea does seem to have the cynical angle on most things. Okay, is this the is this the ledger we're after? Okay, hang on. No, certificate of indentured servitude. Ooh, by order of the right worshipful Mayor Fidel Marbury, it is hereby certified that the Indian slave named Jane. Having ability sufficient to provide for herself shall be indentured to Squire Sincere Paris for seven years until she becomes a free subject. We have granted the certificate this 12th day of December in the year of our Lord 1690. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost's bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antea to make her stronger. So is this saying because of this certificate this some kind of contract jane was given indentured even as it says to sincere paris doesn't seem to understand why he's even hanging around is it because of this certificate he can't leave because she's actually indentured to him that's just weird it's like neither of them had a choice in it Squire Paris bought Jane's freedom, then hired her as his bodyguard. That was generous of him. This contract is the ghost tie. Right. We should talk to the squire. I can't open that box. <coughs> Alright, Sincere. We've, we have a secret, but I'm not sure. I don't think you knew much about it. Hold what on. Now? Okay. You traded with the Pentecooks. Well, we found that in the ledger, but let's ask him about it anyway. You traded with the Pentecook, Jane's people. As I traded with many of the tribes. How do you think I met Jane? Okay. Uh, does she know you were traded? Why is this... I mean, this is what they did back then, right? But, but did she know? Does she know you traded with her people? She does not, and I like it that way. Best not to wake the sleeping dog. Soon I shall be gone, and all this shall be history. Unwritten and forgotten. Okay, but why did you hire her as a bodyguard? You took her into your employ. Why? Jane was to be sold, sent overseas as a slave. It pulled my heart. I could not allow it. So I bought her at auction and gave her her freedom. The irresistible river of commerce could, I thought, flow on without her. Okay. So he had some kind of sense of compassion. 
so he hired her as a bodyguard to stop her from being taken into slavery. The hummingbird slaughtered Jane's people. Hummingbird mercenaries massacred Jane's people. She likely seeks revenge. Ah, right. <laughs> that was a weird, weird response. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, right. You don't seem particularly surprised. You don't seem surprised. Why do you think we came to a backwater like New Eden? She knew the hummingbirds had been here. I wonder if it's this that's keeping you here. Yes, of course. It must be. Right. That's her. Can I go now? Oh, he's hiding something. Jane wants revenge on the mercenaries who killed her people. Maybe that's why you're still here. Give us something to work with, Paris. Ah, Jane had a cache of weapons in the wood. The fiery grove, as she described it. I presume it to mean that the trees there are autumn red. Arms in the woods, red leaf trees. Noted. Okay, well if we go with if we go as Antea, every tree looks like it's got red leaves. We'll take our leave, Squire Paris. I'll set up shop by my graveside. You'll find me there. All right. Let's find this fiery grove. I, this, this, he was hiding something there. That was, that was a little bit odd. A little bit odd. More than a little. She means to kill the hummingbirds. Uh, hell of a mission. Hardly a surprise. Hell I don't know. A mission for one person alone. Sincere's attitude is definitely strange. And not only for his constant whining. Agreed. He, he, he was so nonchalant at that last, in that last conversation. Like, at the beginning, he was like, he doesn't know why he's here. No idea. Don't understand. And he was almost convincing. Not convincing enough for me. We head to the fiery grove, whatever that may be. Is this, is he leading us on a bit of a wild goose chase? We shall see. Now, a, a, a mission that requires such travel, 400 meters still to go, makes me think we're going to have a little uh, combat along the way, which wouldn't uh, be disappointing because there's been nothing, no action so far today. A little bit of... I press the triangle button. That's the trouble we're playing another game at the same time. Triangle in Final Fantasy VII, which is what I'm playing now <clears throat> as well, is the collect button. Ah, here you go. I knew it was happening. Check done. Oh, but we are not done. Well, fetch this stick, little doggy. Right. Spirit has been released. I feel sorry for the poor dog's body that these spirits inhabit. But that's it. Job done. Oh, good stuff. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Yes, something is here. What is that something? And where is it? smell you. I can smell you. There we go. Bit of dust. Nine pieces of eight. That's one eighth more than I... Never mind. The voice acting though. Every single character, every single actor brought in has done a remarkable job. Really, really good. I mean, it's the script is good anyway. Ooh. Is this a campfire? We can... We can rest here? Yes, it's right here. Hold on a second. A place of rest. Huh? 
Oh, we've been here before. I think because it's lit. Okay, I'll take that. Do we need to rest? I don't think so. So we'll, we'll press on anyway, but we're not far from where we need to be. Oh, there's another side quest very close by as well. Ah, now we can get through these weeds, of course. That rock. A letter from the dead, perhaps. Oh, I'm so glad that the game brings you back to places. Oh, this is a different. What the? Oh, 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 there! Would you happen to know why the bridge is up, sir? Don't. Oh. Uh. Is this part of? This is not part of this quest, is it? Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute? And put us out of work? Yeah, this is totally We're different. Gonna change at this point. Come on. The body would have floated downstream. Okay, that's a different side quest. Uh, a a blood-covered rock, but... This is why we're here. Come on. No, shoot him up. Shoot him up. gotta be it. Is it done? It's done. It's not done. Oh, we must have missed one. Oh, there's one down below. How the hell do we shoot that thing? All right, I got it. I think. Oh, that damn controller. The heart's yours. The boots are mine. There it is. Oh, that was a little tricky, but we got through in the end. Jane's fiery grove. Let's search around. Okay, sure, but we've got a, an alpha glutton. I'm allergic to gluten. Right. Is that the sound of a corpse talking? Yes, he was about to shoot us. Good job. There's a tough one. Had to be done. Had to use my banished skills. We are uh, a little overwhelmed here. Ow! Alright, this guy means business. And Saya, up to you. Alright. It's over. Yeah, I messed up that fight a little bit, but hey ho. I'm crying about it. <laughs> Alright, we're in the right zone. So that's the other, the apple rots by the tree, the other quest. We'll come back to that. Home lies where the heart lies. It looks like. We just press forward. Back in a search zone. We're looking for a red tree. That looks like a red tree. This must be Jane's watchtower. Yes. There's more of them. We're not done. Run, Red! Oh, easy now. It's about to shoot. It's not. That was a good, uh, good comment, but complete fantasy. Defeat three enemies with a single outburst. Oh wow! Okay, that's a good trophy to get, and probably quite a tough one to find. Reinforcements. Oh, would you just? One good thing you know about Antea is that when she runs out of her force, her abilities in the turn, she, you know, she can't die. She just transfers back to red. It's like an insurance policy. It works pretty well. To the tower. 
we go. Ha. Easy as pie. I bet you can't cook. Peaceful. No wonder she kept it to herself. A haven where one can mourn and scheme. I want one too. Oh, the one hummingbird. One day you shall have it, and we can scheme in it together. She's an artist. That makes her doubly dangerous. Yeah, so she was hired as a bodyguard. She can paint hummingbirds, but I think that is supposed to symbolize her hatred of them. She which is understandable. Alone. Reminds me of me, Bonadai. Hmm. She glories in the killing. You are not the same. Okay, thanks for that, Antera. I, I, I need the reassurance from time to time. Oh, that is well hung. Look at those. Look at those sausages. Hmm. Uh, a map that doesn't actually explain a damn thing. Except a few areas crossed out. Some places she, she has searched already, and there must be something in this area that she suspects that wasn't in these places. That's what I'm reading into it. Jane tracked the mercenaries to the swamps. A set of bloody silver rings, each engraved with the symbol of a hummingbird collected by Jane. Oh my god, so she went around as an assassin. Picking them off one by one, taking their rings off their dead hands. Uh, something about her I admire. Rings with engraved hummingbirds. Jane is getting her revenge. She'll likely not stop till the last one is dead. Yep. You're absolutely right. I think I see what's going on. After what they did to her, we have intent. Poised and capable, careful and deliberate, this young Native American is fiercely independent. Her trust is hard-earned, but her loyalty to those she considers friends seems shakable. But to avenge her tribe, Jane killed... Sorry, Jane will kill their mercenary murderers. I kind of get it. Completely get it. I never think violence is an answer to violence, but... I can understand why the people do. And here's the cash. There's enough powder and shot here to bring down an elephant. Or a flock of hummingbirds, perhaps. Oh, see what you Jane did there. Needs to kill them all. With the help of Squire Sincere Paris. Uh, I predict spectres? Yep, absolutely. More spectre mess for us to clean up. Let's go do a little scouting. Okay, well, we're not getting across there. We've got... Where do we go? Six... Seriously? 600 meters? A la that general direction. Can we... Can we fast travel? Back here. Ah, back to camp. Okay, so let's... Let's go back to this campfire. No, no, no. That one. And we'll fast travel back to this one. I love this concept art they put up on the loading screens. Looks, I mean, you can see the vision they had, and it, it's, it's paid off. This is locked from the other side. Right, be like that. Okay, this is a camp I've been to before. So now I realize what the game's doing. It, it's it's taking you back to areas you've, you've kind of seen already, but you too. didn't know quite how to to get through entirely. Uh, I still don't. Ooh, hello. Arrows. Local tribes. What the invaders left of them. Right. Arrows. Local tribes. So we what are the invaders left here. of them. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry to repeat ourselves, but we, we're, on, we're in the right ballpark, but everything else is behind us. So I've come out the wrong side. 
Alright, that's better. I guess we're bird watching. Crimson hummingbird should stand out. Crimson hummingbirds. Okay, clue would be nice. Oh, this is where we first saw Seeker. Who was fighting off, what's his name, old... Oh, the, the guy we beat in the last episode. A Cyrodian. Sadly passed on. This is exactly where we saw her. I assume this is the right direction. Right, hummingbirds. They're all over the place. As are the spirits. That spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Inspector Gadget. Oh. Get lost. Any more of you? The 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 archers, if you can call them that. Yes, there is. We've got snipers. Watch out! Spec Piss off! <laughs> oh, you got it. You got to love his way with words. Whoa! Some still shoot. You're within gun range, Red. I still can't parry to save my life. Just have one of those, mates. Nice. It's about to shoot. To me. Ow. All right, we're switching. Ask for help if you need it. I just did. You helped. Look at the little birdie. Okay. We got something. A painted hummingbird. Yeah, well, I could see that. Not that I needed the help. And we got another one of these weird collectibles. I really didn't explore this section earlier. I definitely would have found this if I had if I had bothered. Or tried. Back up that way. A little bit of wool now. It's still in this section. Where the hell are you? Somewhere around. Oh, if the crate's here, so do we have to get? Oh, hi. Who the hell? Oh, that's Antea. Uh, what are you looking at? Okay. She was looking on this cliff edge here. That must be a. I was going to say subliminal clue, but it's a bloody obvious one. It's it's a clue. Uh, and the way down. More wagons. Come on, game. Go. I mean, bird over there. What's in here? April the 6th, 1636. After several days of resistance, the fort remains. This last week, attacks on the frontier came quick and hard. The savages took many brave soldiers down, but we remained strong. Native people of these lands are of high courage and resolute. As a soldier, I admire them. I wish only that they would understand our purpose, to bring to them salvation. I have no doubt they will make the finest Christians once they are defeated. Sca this, this is just sickening, isn't it? To hear and read the attitude. Good Lord. Let's con they'll, they'll be fine once we convert them to Christianity. I kind of admire them if they would only realize we're trying to do them a favor. And we'll, we'll stop killing them, I promise. Oh, honestly, it makes my blood boil. Scouts report that they come in numbers. I need reinforcements and count on the participation of all the colonies. Okay, yeah, well, that tells a little story in itself, even if it wasn't related to this. Don't. Don't glitch me out. 
Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. The chair. I'm stuck in the chair. This is the first time in the whole game. I can't fast travel. I can't do anything. I can't get out of it. <gasps> no! Come on! Oh no! Oh, this is so unkind! This game has been beautiful, not a single glitch in it. Until you open a letter on a table and a chair defeats you. Oh, look at that picture. So I'm reloading a previous save here. Uh, not a bad place to reload it it's all right we, we kind of got away with it I right, we, we've read the letter don't need to read it again let's just follow the hummingbirds I found something oh so you have brave boys and raw filled with foolish stories easily recruited and now, oh, look at this. We would never have been able to open More this before. More corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out. Um. Except. That didn't work. Do I just have to. Right, no, we've got, we've got something else. What's going on here? Alright, I think I see what we got to do. Oh, there's three of these things. One here. We've got to drop down, shoot that one, and then quickly run here and shoot this guy. That is why they pay me good money. Yeah, that was annoying. But we got there. I had about three goes at that. <laughs> yeah. Carefully edited to make it look like I'm amazing. I know you know I'm amazing. Just, uh, I don't like to talk about it much. I'm quite a humble man. Come on then, Alpha Gluten. Spectre heading for that corpse. The Alpha Gluten. I tell you what, that would floor most millennials. Get back up. All right, got the big dude out of the way. Oh. There's a mean flying punch. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I have another insight. There it is. Good lord, would you just stop? This is absolute onslaught. I suppose we we did expect this, right? We were warned. Whoa! Where did he come from? Somebody else. Shoot. Oh, You're within gun range. Okay. All right. We got. We got one. We got one. Back off. Back off. Banish the guy. Alright, he's done. We leave his spirit behind and we meet the shooter. The shooter? I can handle. Unless I miss, of course. Hey! This explains the abandoned loot. Good job, people. Oh, it does. So even these side quests, these, what I would consider shorter missions, they, they really do tell deep stories and, and make you really play the game. I know what I'm saying by that. I know what I mean. Sorry, it wasn't obvious. Oh, I see.
Francis Beauvergeur's private journal. Where did I go wrong? We, when we left the camp in the swamps or when we came back to it? Or was it the Penacook mess of 1690? Someone hunts us, isolated, we were picked off. Regrouping in the fort here, we had numbers. We had, we had two, the advantage of fortification and a view on each approach. Well, that was the plan, but the plan was wrong. I was wrong. The hummingbirds are old now and tired of living hand to mouth. Someone, something is still after us. One by one, the men disappear. Maybe the stories are true. Perhaps witches and ghosts do hide in this stinking marsh. To hell with them. We had a bloody good time. I spit in their eye and I'll die doing it. FB. Francis Beauvoir. Okay beginning to make a little more sense. So she was continuing her hunt. Uh, an old letter, Boston, September 1690, Beauvoir. It is now three days since the news of your troops attacks that reached me. Three days of disgust, three sleepless nights before I find the strength to express my revulsion. What you did is so far beyond the pale, it is the deep blue Atlantic Sea. How could you? Why? For what purpose? Except for hate. Have you any idea how this slaughter will damage our relationship with the local tribes? Of course you don't, you ignorant beast. Having manure for brains, you consider only your own short-term gain. Shame on you, on your methods, on all who agreed to take part in this appalling act of ferocity. I shall blacklist you with my merchant friends from Sincere Paris. The Sincere Paris was against name this. from Squire Paris's books. Bourgeois. Sincere Paris knew the mercenaries who massacred Jane's people. And what they did seems to have horrified them. Squire Paris traded with the mercenaries. We don't have the full story. No, not quite. It's bad, but it's not the full story. I wonder what Jane knows about this. If she doesn't know it yet, when she hears it, she'll be furious. We need to investigate further. There is more. So Jane was the one going around picking them all off. But we're being drawn this way still. Something I've not found in this room. Inventory, tobacco, black tea, shipment from New Eden, farm tools and miscellaneous, as accumulated from the June raids, and then hospital blankets. July 15th, cargo must be handled with care. See attached notes. What was handled with care? Well, they were just blankets. I don't like this at all. Blankets? What were they, children? Is that what this is? Oh, oh, it feels so sinister now, all of a sudden. The things which were never human. <gasps> Be proud of what you know, my dearest disciple, for knowledge is what makes you... Who, who's this from? Who, who makes you who you are and how you challenge the world, but be wise enough to also know your limits. Some things are not made to be approached, known or mastered. Today... I'll tell you about the things which were never human, the angry shadows which lurk and prowl at the doors of our world, out of reach and understanding for the mortals we are and must remain. Eternal they are, nameless and countless they are. Strangers to the very principle of life they are. 
When younger, I believed they were our counterpart, misunderstood herders from the other land. I now know better. Whichever their names, demons, fiends, devils, beasts, their nature and their goals, they are the enemy and we are the prey. We are witches and we seek balance. We respect the wisdom of our older sisters. Let the foolish men lose themselves in the shallow hope of controlling the things with which, which wait for them in the void. The things which were never human. That, is that a letter from... Ceridian? Okay, we are not done. There is something else here. Oh, here you are. My god, I've been running around for a while. This has got to be the last one. Warning! The blanket cargo is infected with smallpox. And handling must be avoided. Direct skin contact is prohibited. Clearance necessary to manipulate the content. Any unnecessary contact demands immediate isolation. The cargo is to be sold on July the 21st. A generous incentive in shillings will be given for the blankets to reach target. <gasps> Before next week, without asking any questions, they deliberately... They deliberately killed that population. The smallpox in the blankets was intentional. The Pennacook were sick. Smallpox. We should talk to Squire Paris. Oh, damn right we should. I can't fast travel from here. Alright, I need to get to a... Need to get to a, a a a campfire. Right, hold on. I love these sh short stories. It's so well put together. I've had my one glitch in the game, and I don't know what, what episode we're on. Like, here you lie, sincere Paris. Yes. Your hands are drenched in Pennacook blood. The hummingbirds gave you pox-riddled blankets to sell to Jane's people. You knew what you were doing and did it anyway. The hell you say? Uh, yeah, well, you hid the truth from Jane. <laughs> I know why you linger. It's guilt. You hid the truth from Jane. I helped her track the men who killed her people. But you hid the part you played in the massacre. Why did you attack them? Why were the Pennacook attacked? There was to be no attack. The pox was intended to force them from the land, that's all. The rules of fair play do not apply in love and war. Doubly so in business. This is why you linger. You deny your guilt. That binds you to Jane. Business is business. Guilt can't come into it, or a man would never turn a profit. Guilt can hang. I didn't know the hummingbirds would attack the camp. Soon as I learned they had, I, I cut all ties. The only survivor was enslaved. You bought her title and set her free. A cheap salve for your troubled conscience. Read it how you will, Mistress Banisher. Now the truth is out. May I go? Oh, you'll be going. It's not so simple. You knowingly sold infected blankets to Jane's tribe. She'll have to hear it. What? No! No! She must not know! I've made amends! For years, she's had my help! Oh. You can't tell her! Please, don't tell her! So so out of guilt, Paris sold the blankets to the tribe. I'm ill at the thought. Did the squire buy Jane's freedom to assuage his own guilt? Well, he, he tried to write it, but it's unforgivable. He didn't feel too guilty to profit off her labor. Like all of them. Unforgivable. Time to lay it all out for both of them. I'm sure they'll both be fine with it. <laughs> they will? I, I don't think Sincere will be. So, yeah, that's just, I mean, evil. I suppose that's the point, isn't it? What is this? Ooh, a new chest. Come on, give me the good stuff. Alright, that was good stuff. Got some crafting to do. Now, Jane, who I've liked initially. As soon as we met her, I thought she was okay. And she was trying to right a wrong of sorts. 
how is she going to accept this? Jay! Don't listen to him. This is a misunderstanding. Here to come clean, Paris. What is going on here? Well, Paris, your chance. Confess. This is your chance, Paris. The truth, my friend. The truth now. Have I not always been there for you? Tell me. I did not think they would attack you. I swore it was not the plan. I helped you wreak vengeance upon them. Every last one. Mm -hmm. Every last one but you. I need no banisher. The spirit of Squire Sincere Paris is mine. Ooh, yeah, but he ain't gonna go unless we send him on his way. Anything to add, Paris? Anything to add, Paris? Nothing to add. My downfall is complete. Now, do what you do, and send me on my way. I love the way all the spirits seem to have like a cataract effect on their eyes. Anyway, I don't love it, sorry, it's just observation. Why did you work with the mercenaries? Why did you work with the hummingbird mercenaries? I'm a merchant, I trade. Business is business, money is money. Blood money. All money is blood money. Especially here in the shiny new world. All money is blood money. Okay, that's not an excuse. Like, everybody else is doing it. Therefore, I'm not as guilty as I need to be. And you can't judge me unless you judge everybody else who was doing the same thing that was also wrong. Let's end this. I think it's an easy decision for me. I know what to do. Deliberately passing smallpox to an entire tribe is close to genocide. I'm afraid right it's now easy. it falls to us to end the story. And what a wonderful story it's been, even though tragic. I can blame Jane? How can I blame her? I can choose to ascend the squire or I can banish him. Well, I'm afraid this goes only one way. Goodbye, Squire Sincere Paris. Squire Sincere Paris, you tried to redeem yourself for your evil business. But you're a ghost, and I am a banisher. We deal death to the dead. That's the trade. And business is business. No! I've made amends! I've paid my bill! And now we shall settle your account. Oh, be gone. I know they're dead already, but it's just... It's a horrific way to go. But deserved. Well, case complete. Antea, that's... Well, you're welcome for the life essence. Jane... Any last words? Don't you have somewhere else to be? Yeah, she's not happy. You'll surely be more useful to someone else. Don't you have somewhere else to be? All right, we're not getting anything out of her. Uh, well, that was an interesting quest, a very interesting mission. Oh, we're not going to be able to open that box, no matter what's inside it. There'll be a key around here somewhere. But, guys, thanks for watching this one. What a great story. Uh, as it continues to be. This one... The story of the traveling merchants, Jane and Sincere, ended with the banishment of Sincere for the evil, evil, deliberate spreading of the smallpox disease to a native population. You asshole. And I'm glad you're gone. May you rot in hell. And I will see you in the next episode. Nice way to end, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the episode as always and I will see you very soon. Take care, good night.